Concerns are growing as fighting continues between Armenia and Azerbaijan over the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Hundreds of people have been killed and more wounded since clashes broke out more than a week ago. That is when Armenian forces seized the territory. To talk more about this, we're joined by CBS News senior foreign correspondent Elizabeth Palmer. Welcome, Elizabeth. Great to have you with us. So this disputed area is, rec is recognized as a part of Azerbaijan, but it is governed by Armenians. And it's been that way for some time. So why is this dispute erupting all of a sudden? What has changed? Well, the area has been unstable for decades, ever since the end of the Cold War, when both Armenia and Azerbaijan got their independence from the Soviet Union. And there have been flare-ups of fighting on and off ever since. The last main one was in 2016. So the question really is, why has it erupted again now? It does appear that Azerbaijani troops may have made a push to take back a chunk of the enclave where the Armenians live, because they do believe that it's part of their country, and maybe the Azeri government thought they'd get away with it because the world is so preoccupied with COVID, and so there'd be minimal pressure to end the violence and stop the incursion. So what is the international community then saying about this conflict now? And what are the concerns exactly about Turkey's alleged involvement and the absence of the United States? Various countries have weighed in. Nobody wants a war in that area. Uh, obviously, the international pressure is demanding that the hostilities stop. Countries that have weighed in include Iran and Russia, and the group that's been trying to negotiate a peace agreement for years. And that does include the UK and France, as well as the United States. You ask about Turkey, though, and that begs the next question. How dangerous is this? Could, could it in fact, escalate into a wider conflict. On the face of it, you know, this is a really small regional uh, conflict. To put it in perspective, the territory is poor, it's mountainous, it's very beautiful. Uh, it is part of Azerbaijan, uh, but has this population of Armenians who have allegiance to Armenia just next door. But there are only 175,000 of them in an area just a little bit bigger than Rhode Island, really small. But both sides sides have powerful backers. Azerbaijan is an ally of Turkey, and we know already the Turks have been supplying military ho help, including drones that have been shooting down, uh, in some cases, into civilian areas. And Armenia is allied with Russia, which at the moment is trying to calm things down, but it definitely could get drawn in if the fighting escalates, uh, and then it would face off against Turkey. So there are big implications. Uh, the next few days will be key. To, to see whether uh, the international players succeed in tamping down the violence or whether um, passions are just running too high. Elizabeth Palmer in London, thank you. Pleasure.